Russell Tybert there, Camilo looking for it, Tybert! Russell Tybert! You wanted life, you wanted spark, the young Canadian has added all of that! Vancouver up, 1-0! When I was a kid, my dream was to be a garbage truck driver. And then it was a limousine driver. And then it was a firefighter. And then I had this like wild idea that I could be a professional soccer player. And as a kid, you think that it's this life where you know you, you get to play soccer and that's it. And then all of a sudden that dream turns into reality. And uh, you understand it's not just playing for 90 minutes. That's the most important part. But this is 24 hours, seven days a week. It's, it consumes your life, but to a point where it's not consuming your life because you enjoy it, you enjoy doing it, and you enjoy the grind. And I think that's, that's what makes sports special to athletes and to fans because you can get on this level it's where you can completely get absorbed into a sport and make it seem like it's the most important thing in the world. When it's not. We talked about what we think is, is feasible if you put the hard work in and I think you've put the hard work in now it's about transitioning that to the field because really that's what matters is what you do on the field. It doesn't matter how many weights you can pick up and put down. It matters how many games you can play in and, and how you can make the team a better team. Yeah, that was, that was the biggest issue for me last season was, was trying to stay healthy. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I think we tried to build a program where first and foremost I could be healthy and then I think performance takes care of itself after that. It's something that a lot of people take for granted. Um, but coming out of last season, you know, all this work, all the extra work that, I, that we've done, you know, to, to prepare myself for this upcoming season, I think, it, it, you know, it's super important. All the details, all the little things, um, just preparing for this for the season and not having any setbacks. You're the strongest you've ever been. You're moving the best you've ever been. You're you're the most mature athlete you've ever been. So now it's about making sure that we can maintain those things. So you know, I think with the resiliency that you've built up, we can still get you in twice a week yep. to work on your strength and, and your eccentrics and that. We have the hardest travel schedule in the league, mm -hmm. and, and we got to work around that. Whether it's a practice or a recovery or a regen or a game, you always prepare and you always come prepared to, you know, give it 100%. Someone in our staff asked me, why do you work so hard? Why do you, why do you spend so many hours training? Why do you do all the extra work? Why do you come in early? Why do you leave late? And uh, I am 24, but I've, I've been in this game almost 10 years, close to 10 years now. And uh, you put that hard work in, so there's no question when you're on the field. When you walk off that field, you can say, I could have done that extra rep. If I did that extra rep, maybe I would have caught the ball. If I you know, did a recovery session, maybe my legs would have held up for the 90 some odd minutes for the extra time. You know, now we're in the season and you get, you know, one day off, but the best athletes say that there are no days off. And what they mean by that is, is even on days when you're, you're not on field, it's a day for you to mentally recharge but you're still engaged in what you're doing and that's the discipline that it takes to be excellent. That hard work makes you confident and makes you mentally strong because you know that there's nothing more you could have done, that, that you've done everything possible to make yourself successful.